Hi everyone, hope you all are doing great and welcome to my channel Yadnoculus. As promised, today we are going to start the lowercase alphabet blanket which is the most requested pattern on my channel and blog and I can't wait to show you the pattern. Just like my previous Sweet Dreams blanket pattern, this one is also going to be released in parts every week. So make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet and crochet along with me. Also the written pattern is available on my blog for free at yarnoculus-blog.com so check that out if you wish to follow the written instructions. Okay then let's look at the materials real quick before we dive into the pattern. For the yarn, I'm using my favorite Karen Simply Soft, which is a medium weight acrylic yarn. And I use two shades of purple. The lighter one is called Orchid and I don't have the label for the darker shade. But you can use any medium weight yarn in any shade for this blanket. For the entire blanket, I used more than one and half skein of each color. And this is how much was left off from my second skein. If you're using a single color for the entire core, you would be okay with just three skeins of yarn. And each of my skein is one. 70 grams for the border i went with a darker shade of blue and this is also karen simply soft in color dark country blue and for the border i used less than half a skin of 170 grams and with that i used a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook so with this yarn and a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook my blanket turned out to be about 27 inches in width and let's see how much it is in length it's about it's about 39 inches in length okay so those were the materials that i used for my blanket you can really use any kind of yarn and you can use any mix of color combinations for making this gorgeous blanket i would just recommend to avoid variegated yarns because the bobble stitches really don't pop out with variegated yarns other than that self striping and solids would look absolutely great with this pattern and if you have any questions about what kind of yarn you should be using the yarn weights the hook size and what's going to be suitable for this pattern and what not just drop in a comment below and i would be more than happy to answer your questions all right then let's not waste any more time and let's get straight to the pattern and start with the foundation row for this lowercase alphabet blanket let's go Okay everyone, so I'm gonna start with the purple color and for this pattern as well, we're gonna start with a slip knot. So for a slip knot, wrap the yarn around your two fingers once, wrap it around again, this time over the first loop, slip your hook beneath the first loop, pick up the second loop and just slide the yarn out of your fingers okay now you have the slip knot on your hook all you need to do is pull the end connected to your yarn ball and wrap it around your finger just like you do for crocheting usually okay now with the slip knot on your hook we can start with the foundation chain and for this project we need a foundation chain of 114 chain stitches okay so for a chain stitch yarn over that's just take the yarn over your hook and pull through the loop on your hook okay just like that so that's your one chain stitch we need 114 chain stitches so go on do these chain stitches till you reach 114 and we'll start with row number one after that okay everyone so now that you have done your foundation chain just check once more to make sure that you have 114 chain stitches and with that we are all set to do row number one okay for row number one you're gonna do a single crochet in every stitch it's gonna give you 113 single crochet but you're gonna start from the second stitch from the hook so the loop on the hook does not count as a stitch this one is your stitch number one so start crocheting from stitch number two so for a single crochet you're gonna insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook that's gonna give you a single crochet just like that do a single crochet in every stitch that is every chain for this row and that's gonna give you row number one okay and you can go ahead and do rows number two three four five and six which again are gonna be single crochet in every stitch so in total we need six rows of single crochet in every stitch that's gonna be your rows number one to row number six once you're done with that come back and we'll see what we need to do for row number seven onwards
all right at the end of row number six this is how your work should be looking i'm done with the six rows of single crochet in every stitch so let's go ahead with row number seven okay so for row number seven chain one and turn your work and start with nine single crochets After 9 single crochets, we need to do a bobble stitch. In this pattern, a bobble stitch is done by doing 4 double crochets halfway in the same stitch. And this is how you do it, okay? So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through 2 loops on your hook and stop, okay? So that was a double crochet done halfway once. We need to do this 3 more times. So yarn over, insert, pull up yarn over pull through two and stop again yarn over insert pull up yarn over pull through two and stop and one last time yarn over insert pull up yarn over pull through the first two loops and stop at this point you have five loops on your hook one two three four and five so yarn over and pull through all the five loops okay give it a slight nudge outwards and you get your bobble stitch next we need to do a single crochet in the next stitch and that gives you a pair of a bobble stitch and a single crochet we need eight such pairs here already done the first one so go ahead and do seven more pairs of a bobble stitch and a single crochet Okay, after the 8th bobble stitch, we need to do 5 single crochets. So go ahead and do 5 single crochets. And that's going to be your repeat for the whole of this row. You're going to do 8 pairs of a bobble stitch and a single crochet. And after the 8th bobble stitch, you need to do 5 single crochets. So repeat this 4 more times which will take you to the end of this row. And in the end, after the 8th bobble stitch of the last group, you're going to be left with 9 single crochets just like you started. Okay, so go ahead do this entire row. And you can also go ahead and do row number 8 which is going to be a row of single crochet in every stitch so go ahead do these two rows and i'll see you when we are ready for row number nine okay guys at the end of row number eight which was a row of single crochet in every stitch we are all set to start with row number nine okay for row number nine chain one turn your work and let's start with eight single crochets After that, we need a bobble stitch. Followed by 15 single crochets. A bobble stitch in the next stitch and three single crochets next and that's gonna be your repeat for the whole of this row so you're gonna do a bobble stitch 15 single crochets bobble stitch three single crochets and repeat the same thing for four more times for four of these groups and after the last bobble stitch for the last group you're going to be left with eight single crochets just like you started okay once you're done with that chain one turn your work and do row number 10 as well which is going to be a row of single crochet in every stitch okay come back for row number 11 and we'll see what we need to do from there
all right everyone so for row number 11 chain one turn your work and let's start with seven single crochets A bobble in the next and 17 single crochets after that Put a bobble in the next stitch and a single crochet in the next and that's going to be your repeat for the whole of row number 11 you're going to do a bobble stitch 17 single crochets bobble single and then repeat again the bobble stitch and 17 single crochets so we have five groups of hexagons out here we just did the first group and you're gonna do the same thing for the next four groups after the last bobble stitch you're gonna be left with seven single crochets just like you started okay once you're done with that chain one turn your work and go ahead and do row number 12 which is gonna be a row of single crochet in every stitch i'll see you when you are ready for row number 13. Okay everyone, so after row number 12, which was a row of single crochet in every stitch, chain 1 for row number 13 and turn your work, okay? Now, for row number 13, we're gonna start with 6 single crochets. A bobble in the next. Six single crochets after that and then we need to do four pairs of a bobble stitch and a single crochet and after the fourth pair do six single crochets A bobble stitch to mark the end of this hexagon okay and let's do six more single crochets after that a bobble in the next Five single crochets after that a bobble in the next six single crochets after that bobble in the next seven single crochets and then we need three pairs of a bobble stitch and a single crochet After the third bobble stitch, do seven single crochets. A bobble to mark the end of this hexagon and the start of the next hexagon. Okay, 
let's do seven single crochets after that and then we need to do four pairs of a bobble stitch and a single crochet After the fourth bobble stitch, let's do five single crochets. A bobble in the next. Six single crochets after that. And then we need four pairs of a bobble stitch and a single crochet. After the fourth bobble stitch, let's do six single crochets. A bobble in the next. And six single crochets to end this row. Okay, chain one and turn your work. And you know what to do for row number 14. It's going to be a row of single crochet in every stitch. With this row, you would see the lower parts of the alphabets X, Y and Z. Come up real good and you will be all set to do row number 14. So get row number 14 done, which is going to be a row of single crochet in every stitch. And meet me back for row number 15. Alright everyone, I think this is a good time to stop for today and this was part one and there are a lot of parts coming up in future so I hope you have hit the subscribe button and you are crocheting this blanket along with me. If you have any questions, comments or feedback for me, I would love to read them. Please drop it in the comment section below or you can hit me on Instagram, my handle is at Yarnoculus. Alright then, I'm gonna leave you with that today but I will be back soon with the next bunch of rows. Till then, take care and happy crocheting.